Well, good day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I have for you a bit of a post review and a little bit of uh, progress of this diamond painting I've recently worked up for Spell Queen. So this is one of the pieces I've unboxed on the channel uh, a little while ago and it was sent to me for review from Spell Queen. So uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a post review of it of the completed canvas and just a quick rundown of everything and just show you how it all worked up. really lovely owl and she's he she is sitting up in a nice uh, dream catcher type thing so it's a really lovely image I've got all the little aspects going really well on this one I'm really happy with the end result the image actually came up rather well for 30 by 40 so I'm happy with that um, there's a few other things on the image I think would look better bigger uh, one of those things would be these feathers and that of the actual dream catcher I don't think as much of the light colors and that came across in this smaller Size so that was something I sort of when you have a look at the actual image you sort of notice Therefore, but and in the completed actual diamond painting looks really really nice So I am very happy with how this one's actually came up for a 30 by 40 uh, the canvas is a bit larger is a 30 by 40 image so they fit really nicely in those frames as well um, overall I didn't have really too much dramas symbols were quite clear to read although I did use a light pad because it did have quite a lot of dark colors and stuff so it was just easier for me to use a light pad for the symbols uh, drills are really nice and shiny they have a really nice shine so I'm really happy with the actual finish of these drills they come up really nice and um, they just have a beautiful sparkle and the whole diamond painting just um, shimmers really nicely and just sparkles in either inside light or daylight I'm, I've seen it's got a really nice sparkle either way those ones are not straight and they're bothering me put them back and you can um, adjust your drills if you need to just to straighten them up or anything like that it does have the ability to play with this as well so the glue has a good coverage the drills um, stick to the glue quite well and I don't, didn't have any real problems there and you can adjust them if you need to so it's and they're quite firmly on there once you've completed so that's also great so yeah all in all the general aspects of the kit was really good we'll have a bit closer look through the actual image and the finished piece and you can just see that shine there I'm just catching that from my window I'm just near a window at the moment so uh, and it's overcast actually today as well but I'm getting a really nice shine so the drills are very sparkly which is really great you see that uh, not much trash or anything like that not that I keep trash, but I didn't have um, a lot of rubbish to go through I Had 29 colors. So it was a, it's a lot of colors for this size And I think that also helped a lot with the render as well of this image. So that came across really nice I'll just show you there. That is the thumbnail and you can see what I mean by like these little feathers seem to look a lot lighter than what they've come across but I think that's due to the size so if you wanted a bit more of those colors you probably want to go up another size maybe even two but 
it comes across a really lovely image as it is for the 30 by 40. Lots of beautiful colour background that really helps a lot um, and it's not too confetti or anything to work on it's actually quite enjoyable it's not too it's not overly blocky either so it's a nice mix and it, the colours in the background really help with this beautiful blue owl she, it looks really um, it really pops and looks really vibrant I really like it so uh, that's pretty much a look at this kit as you can see the key there and all your symbols are kind of easy a little bit bigger probably wouldn't hurt if you can actually could extend it that would be probably good as well this canvas is absolutely beautiful and soft and so pliable you can work on your diamond paintings pretty much immediately there's no worry about resting and things like that with spell clean so that is also a really nice bonus you've got this beautiful edge it's all um, sculpt edging and yeah uh, generally it's just a really nice quality got your free uh, dam insurance information your five star satisfaction any problems contact them etc and you can get them on all of those um, either Facebook Instagram on of course their service center as well so yeah it's all in all a really really nice um, DP I'm really happy with the end result it's got beautiful shine drills are good to work with etc etc so yeah all in all really nice and it's really came up really well for the size so I'm very happy with that it's nice size to work on um, especially when you got a small space but it's also nice to be able to complete something rather quickly so that was something that was I liked about this one I could just pop it there and just um, yeah just enjoyable to work on basically all right so that's the canvas this is what I have left over in drills and we'll go back down here again so I've just popped them in this case this case didn't come with this kit this is actually from um, the little mirror I did up a while ago on the channel a little post review of that so I found it was really kind of handy little case just stick my little baggies in so I actually even tried working with bags off this kit. I didn't actually kit up my usual way. I actually tried using the bags. Uh, it kind of worked. I ended up having to lay them all out flat and work from them that way. I don't think it was as quick as I could have worked on the canvas um, if I used my normal go-to, so to speak. But it was quite handy as far as... Uh, just finishing up not having to kit down and stuff that was kind of nice it was just nice and simple so they do come with all the baggies and that looks and that's um, a nice look I think it was really nice to be able to see the drills nice and clear and I'm just putting out what's left over onto here and then I'll, I'll just bring you back up a bit more so you can see what's going on okay so i'll just bring it up a little bit as i'm putting out these drills so you can sort of see just where we're um, up to and this is all what's left over there's a lot of colors here so i might have to just do a bit of readjusting and then get you back onto the track there's two gone over there <laughs> So I've just laid out the drills um, on the back of the canvas just so you can see just how many is left over. This is what's left over in a completed kit. You have lots and lots left over uh, and you can see that they're very clean. There's no rubbish in, that, in these bags and all 29 colours I have plenty of really nice variety too of different colors here to keep you um, entertained I suppose if you like throughout doing your diamond painting so yeah this is actually what is left over from the kit so I think that's a really fantastic amount I didn't use my usual go-to which is these sort of ones which I've done the, that's the puppy dog one um, I usually kit them up like that we just go through them really quickly there you can see there's lots and lots in these bags and as they are really nice and shiny so that's one two five six 
I've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 there on that top row. Uh, 14 to 18, as you can see. 19 to 20. There's not much difference, but there's enough of these, a difference in these two colours. They are really pretty. I really like those ones. 24, 25, 26, 27, and right down to 29. So there's tons in that. Look at that. You'd nearly think I still had to do a diamond painting the way I've got the amount I've got, I should say, in these um, bags. So, yeah, really, really happy with the amount I had left over. So that's pretty much, I think, all the aspects of this one. And, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy with how it actually worked up. It's got a beautiful shine. And, yeah. Let's put them all aside now. I don't need them anymore. So there you go guys, that's basically uh, a review of what I've experienced, um, very enjoyable kit to work up from Spell Queen. All the materials in the kit are really nice quality as well and it's really enjoyable to work up. So uh, yeah, happy with this end result. So I hope you enjoy watching that review, uh, stay tuned for more and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload next. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Till then, stay well and be safe. And I'll say, be your life beautiful with diamond art. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.